Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany and these things that I make on my channel are my masterpieces. This week we made this beautiful DIY shelf that you can make out of any kind of board, any stain you want, with any kind of brackets that you wish. I chose Douglas fir wood for the wood that I use for my board. I bought the wood at Lowe's and the shelf brackets at Home Depot. I actually had ordered some off of Amazon and they still haven't arrived. So I don't know what happened because it was supposed to be prime, but somehow they got lost in transit or I don't know what happened, but they're still not here. And it's been like once I ordered them on Sunday and it is now Thursday. So who knows, hopefully I can ask for a refund. But these ended up being cheaper anyways, and I like the style a lot more. If you would like to see how I made this shelf come together and how I styled it, keep on watching. Welcome to my unfinished, unorganized laundry room. We have not done anything to the space yet, but it will be coming sometime this year. I decided to use this spot to stain my shelf because I have a table that I don't really mind if it gets stained on it and it's for further enough removed from my main living area that I won't be smelling stain and I have a door right there that I can open for ventilation purposes. So this is where we're going to do it because it's super cold outside otherwise I would do this outside but I don't really want to be out there right now. It snowed a little bit yesterday. Although it didn't stick, it's all melted. So this is where we're gonna do it. Let's hop to it. This piece of wood has some really pretty grain in it. It's a Douglas fir piece of wood. It's pretty smooth. It has a little bit of stamping on it on one side, which I'm going to try to sand off because I think you'll be able to see part of this from the underside. And then I'm gonna stain it. I just wanted to say real fast, make sure you put this outside to dry because it smells so much. It's fortunately above freezing, so I can put it out here, but it is definitely cold. Let me show you how this looks real fast. Whoa, right. All right, so this is the one that I stained. It looks so nice. The stain that I picked, the natural stain, looks very warm with this wood. And here's a comparison of how it looked before staining. So um, this one is obviously a little bit more white. This brings out a lot more of the grain and makes it look more yellow. It also got rid of this um, ashy white color that you get when you sand, um, when you sand, when you cut wood. So the edges actually look like this, which is really nice. It looks like the rest of the wood after I sanded it. Hey guys, this is the wall that I'm gonna put my shelf on and it's outside. It had been drying for about two hours after I stained it and I wanted to show you the wall. What I'm gonna do to figure out how I want to position it is I'm going to grab a piece of masking tape 
that is the same length as my actual shelf and I'm going to position it and level it and then figure out where the brackets go so that I can mark it and then drill the holes for the brackets. We're gonna screw the brackets onto the wall first. I think that's the best way to do it if it's just myself doing this without an assistant. And then we'll put the shelf on and then screw the brackets into the shelf because they go on the bottom. So they can kind of rest on top of there while I screw them in. And let's see how this turns out. Here's my masking tape, lovely masking tape that is the same length as my shelf. All right, we're gonna say bye-bye to this lovely piece of art that my friend Hope got for me for my wedding. It was, it was at our wedding, so it's special. I wanna move it somewhere else though. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot there was an outlet there. Huh, I totally forgot about that. That's why I stuck that there originally, because I, for, I forgot that there was an outlet. Well, hopefully I can manage to hide that with my mirror because I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, this mirror needs to go at about this height to accommodate both my husband's height and my height. Um, so I wanna be able to see my face in it. And I want some space on this side. I hope you can see what I'm talking about, but I wanted some space on this side so that I can actually um, like have it look balanced, if that makes sense. I'm trying to also hide this hideous wall plug which could come in handy if I wanted to plug something in on this shelf, but I don't think that I will plug anything in on this shelf. The diffuser might be cool, but um, I think I can make it work. Took my level and just placed it along it and made sure that it was straight. Now I'm going to take my brackets and I'm going to put them on the wall. This bracket in particular has two holes, one here and one here, and then it has a bottom one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it against the wall, like so, centered at my mark, and I'm going to draw the holes on the wall. tip don't hold on to this part of the drill while you're drilling that is not a good idea I kept trying to grab the screw but I grabbed this and fortunately I didn't hurt my fingers but that's that's a no-no don't do that also if you are driving a screw into the wall you're gonna want to put a lot of force behind it so that you don't strip your um, drill bit or not your drill bit your screwdriver bit you don't want to strip it and you don't want to strip your screws either because when you want to take them out later it's a pain in the back if they're stripped so just fyi this thing is so pretty look how pretty this is i'm trying to decide what side i want to put down because 
there is a little bit of imperfections on the side that are like, I don't know. It's kind of like grayed out. I don't know if it's like stained or what. It's kind of rough on this side, but it looks better. This side is cool, but it has several imperfections on the bottom. I don't know if you can see, well, don't know if you can see that, but it has like freckles, knots in the wood. So I don't know what to do. If I should show this side that's more smooth and doesn't have the stains, but has the knots with this side. Wow, this is so pretty. Wow. I was debating whether or not to do this shelf this color wood because I have so much of this darker hued wood and then the floors are like this and so I was kind of like at loss for what to do because there's already so much wood in the space and I felt like it would look ununiform if I did this color wood but my husband was like you already have so much dark wood in there why don't you just go with the lighter one well my concern with doing that obviously is that I didn't want it to look like it was mismatched even though, you know, I have furniture that doesn't completely match, but the nightstands match. And um, this is from another room, but it, it honestly looks cute in here. Um, so I found an, a really good article online that said that if you want your woods to look uniform, if you're not using all the same stain, is to make sure that whatever woods you put in your space are all warm toned or all cool toned. So all of the woods in my space have a warm tone to them, including the floor. So the floor is like warm, um, a little bit lighter than my nightstand wood. And then this is obviously way lighter. But the thing that unites them, I noticed, is that they're all warm. And I feel like it looks really nice having like my cool gray headboard. I also have sheets that are gray. And it just kind of pulls everything together and looks really nice. The other thing that pulls it together is that brown paper that we put in the um, the frames. So it kind of bounces off each other. The other thing it mentioned was that if you're going to have a wood in a space, it needs to repeated, be repeated at least twice. So I have this, but I also have this sign. It's almost exactly the same hue. And I'm going to put it on the opposite side of the room. I'm pretty sure it's gonna put it over there. Pretty sure I'm gonna put it over there or on this wall right here. We'll have to see. But it's looking so good. I'm so happy I decided to do a shelf because this this little wall, or long wall, I should say, is not big enough to fit a piece of furniture comfortably between here and the wall because it's so small, but it just felt like something was missing. So I'm really glad I decided to do this. And my, I'm gonna put my little captain mirror up there. It's gonna look so nice. Okay, let's start screwing this in. I need to go find some screws that will fit with that. What am I gonna do with this? I'm going to put my mirror right here. I'm going to put some really pretty vases that I have and some nice pretty books, like the ones that we found at the thrift store last week. Maybe some bookends and it's going to look so nice.
styling the shelf. If you can see in the footage that I took, you'll see me putting on things, taking off things, moving things around. And that's just kind of how it goes when you style something. You'll see that I repeated certain elements on one side and then on the other just to make it look balanced and cohesive. I also took a general stance of trying to do things in a V and it looks really cohesive that way. I also used the design trick of doing things in odd pairs versus even pairs. <laughs> odd pairs? You can't do odd pairs, but groupings of odd instead of even pairs. Um, you just dropped your hairbrush. Very nice. As you'll see, the focal point of this whole thing is this mirror that we made. So because it's semi-centered, it's slightly off to the side, and I did that on purpose, I wanted it to look like it was done in fourths. So this could be considered one-fourth, 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 and one-fourth. I feel like it gives it a lot more visual interest than just sticking the mirror in the middle and calling it a day and then styling around it. So I put it off um, a little bit. As you can see, this is the middle point right here. And I tried to do, so I tried to copy the copper elements in different spots. So copper and caramel, I counted them as the same because they're the same tone and I don't have a lot of things in copper finish. So we have the copper of the mirror here. We have caramel in this pot. We have a copper lid to this candle. Actually, this doesn't belong on this candle, but it fits on top and I feel like it kind of pulls things together. Isn't this a cute candle? It, it has furs on it. It's called Fresh Balsam. Um, and then coming on over here, we have this book. I didn't have a lot of books in that color, but I have this one, which kind of is reddish coppery. This one has like a rust um, diagonal binding. And then I have my, obviously my Bible is this reddish color, which kind of pulls things together. The next thing that I have, obviously, is the leather strap on this mirror and the leather strap i it looks almost black so i have it kind of mimicked right here this is bronze so we have it in this we have it in this book again and we have it here it's also in the branches of this arrangement the next thing that i wanted to incorporate in this space because it is a woodland theme that I'm going for. So I wanted to incorporate a lot of green. So I have green in this leaf, I have green on this book plus some cream, green on this candle, there's green in the picture. This green here in the picture is mimicked throughout this and then in this binding of this book. And then I had the duck here without this underneath and I felt like it got lost but I wanted some visual interest in putting something sideways because I have one over there sideways. So I just stuck him in this tray and now he's floating on some green leaf of some sort. <laughs> okay, and then the next thing that I have obviously is this blue vase. And this blue vase, blue gray, is mimicked in different areas of my room, but specifically on the shelf, it's in here. And then we have it here in this tray. Um, this is the really pretty tray that I found for a pillar candle. I have it, instead of having it like this, I have it at a diagonal, and then I have this just sitting on top of it. Um, oops. Again, with the little flower in it. And where else do I have it? Oh, it's in my husband's jacket from when we got married. These were our wedding photos that we took after our wedding because it rained the day that we got married all day, so we couldn't do our photos. And then this book is slightly like a navy blue. I don't have a lot of it on this side because um, I don't have any books that are that color. Otherwise, I would have stuck another book in here. There's some of it in this gray color right here. And then the last thing, obviously, is white. So I flipped some of the books around so that you can see the white. I have it in the flowers here. I have it in this flower and I have it in this picture and obviously this book. So everything is spread throughout and I feel like that makes for a very cohesive look to a shelf and then obviously these same things can be repeated throughout the room. I feel like this turned out so beautifully. I would do it over a hundred times again. I'm so glad I had the idea to do a shelf right here. 
Thanks for watching this week, guys. I upload videos every Friday, and I will see you next week. Say bye! <laughs>